Hey, welcome to Mikey's RC. Well, I know a lot of you guys are into the pusher style prop jet planes, and I wanted to make another quick to build, fun to fly RC plane. I'm also now carrying the 6x4 APC propeller, and of course I've been carrying the 2200 kV brushless motor. Both work perfect for these prop jet planes. This jet is super easy to make and super low cost. It's only about $10 worth of foam, barbecue skewers, and tape, and there's only about four pieces that make up the plane. You've got the main wing, fuselage, and the two tail pieces. That's it. Now this first prototype that I made was definitely a learning experience. It was very scale looking and had the elevons just as on the real F-117. The problem is that this is a very unstable setup and that's why they need so many computers to control flying this plane. Here's prototype number two of the Mikey's RC Stealth Fighter and if you look you can see that it's got these special elevons that are actually holes cut in the wings. Now this actually flew pretty good. I thought it might be fun to involve you guys in the design process of this plane. So I went ahead and posted the prototype plans for this plane. So if you want, go ahead and print them out and build this plane. Just, now just know that it is still an experimental plane. So although that these do work, I'm still tweaking them to get them even better. But I thought I'd give you the opportunity to hands-on learn what I'm going through as I design these planes and go through testing of them. So go to MikeysRC.com, download the plans, and join me in the experimentation process that is scratch building. Okay, well we're out at the field again today. Gonna do a little more testing of the second prototype. It's becoming pretty apparent to me how hard it must have been for the engineers of the real F-117 to get this thing to fly. I mean, if you watch documentaries on this thing, you hear them say that basically this plane isn't supposed to fly. It, it doesn't know which way is up or down. And uh, I definitely experienced that yesterday. And it actually came out a little bit bigger than I wanted it to. So here's the Mikey's RC prototype number two. It's a little bit smaller. It's still a pusher prop design but I made some changes now. I thought if I were to put the elevons in like this, that it would actually give me a little bit more control over the plane. Now, I don't know why, but whenever I'm scratch building a plane, it seems to come out tail heavy. And now this one actually seemed to come out nose heavy. So I'm hoping that I have enough elevator control to keep this thing up and in the air. If I remember right, the whole thing, all up weight, ready to fly, weighs about 18 ounces. Now the thrust from this motor and prop combo is supposed to be around 24. So we should have some really good flight performance. Now, like all of my planes, I try and make them really easy to build. After cutting out the pieces, I mean, you're probably looking at three hours if you've never done this plane before to get it from cutting out the pieces, gluing them together, getting the servos mounted and just about ready to fly. Now, another thing about this plane is it's really hard to throw. So I mounted on a little hand launching skid right here. So that's gonna help me out. So I, now I can actually hold the plane and give it a nice good throw when I'm about to launch. So let's give this plane a try and see how my custom elevons work. That went really good actually. I'm really surprised at how well these things work. Pretty cool idea. Now it is still a little nose heavy, so I had to have a lot of up elevator, which didn't give me a lot of control when I was coming down on those fast high speed passes. So that's actually why it ended up, ended up crashing. It is pretty nose heavy, so I'm gonna have to make that next change. I'm gonna basically move the motor back, the next prototype that I do. But man, that thing flew real well. It was nice and stable actually. The plane did come in and it hit on the nose, so it did crinkle it a little bit, but I'm surprised considering how fast it came in and how hard it hit the ground. Man, just hardly any damage at all. In fact, I don't even need to do anything. I just straighten it out with my hands and go ahead and fly again. That's the beauty of this foam board stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit more weight on the tail, give a little bit of up elevator trim, and let's see how that makes it fly this time.
yeah, so much better. Put another stack of pennies back here to make the tail a little bit heavier. And that thing flew real nice and stable. Now the one problem I am noticing though, in a really high speed, fast, steep dive, you give it full back elevator, it doesn't want to come out of that dive. So on prototype number three, you're gonna to have to do a little modification. So stay tuned to see what that is. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how this thing's performing. The ESC wasn't really hot, the motor wasn't hot, the battery was just fine. It's gonna be a really fun plane.